Hello and welcome to another Stoked on Spokes video. Before I start this review on this Velocio kit that I've had for some time now, I wanna talk a little bit about my cycling style and preference when it comes to clothing. So most of the time when I'm on the bike, I choose to ride in a regular pair of shorts and a t-shirt or in the colder months, some long chinos and sweater jacket. I only ever reach for my kit when I know I'm gonna be in the saddle all day and that can mean big miles or not so big miles. Just know that I'm gonna be on the bike all day. Being in the saddle all day, I do prefer the comfort of some nice bibs with a nice chamois and a jersey. That being said, every time I've reached for my bibs or jersey in the past, they've always fallen short on comfort and performance. So the time had come to search for a new quality kit. So I'd seen great things online about Velocio and love the fact that they are a 1% for the planet company. More on that in a minute. I reached out to them seeing if they would let me review some of their cycling gear. And to my surprise, they responded with a yes. They were willing to send out their Lux bib, which on their scale is a high compression bib made to give you comfort on the saddle all day long. For the jersey, they gave me a choice of jersey. So I had the whole selection of Velocio to choose from. And I went with their concept as this is one of their trademark pieces and I wanted to really find out what that's all about. In my opinion, Velocio does a lot of things in a good, good way, but two things really stand out to me. One we'll talk about now, one a little bit later in the video. The first is being fit and sizing. They understand that people aren't pro cyclists and they design cycling apparel for the average human being, just like me and potentially you. It's important to note that when it comes to Velocio cycling kits, you will be able to fit into two sizes. The smaller of the two will fit you smaller and will give you a little bit more compression and the larger, bigger of the two will obviously be a bit bigger, a little bit more of a relaxed fit and a little less compression. So I'm five foot 11 or 180 centimeters. And for these two pieces, I went with the medium. I could have gotten the small and fit into a small, but I like a little bit more of a relaxed fit as I usually ride in regular clothes. So I went with the medium. The Lux bib compression felt great. I was a little bit concerned about how tight they were. Thought they would be maybe too much on a long day, but it was quite the opposite. They do exactly as they say, they support your legs on those long days on the bike. A common issue with bib shorts or bibs in general is the fact that they can ride up your leg so on as you ride. And that bothers a lot of riders. Ordering a medium, the bigger of the size, the leg grippers worked awesome. And I never had a problem with them actually scooting up my leg on a ride. They stayed in place where I put them basically the whole day. Now on the length of the bibs, 99% of you are gonna love the fit of the Lux bib and the length but I would prefer if it was one to two inches shorter on the inseam. That's just my personal preference. Again, most of you guys will love the fit and the length of them, uh, but I really wish bike manufacturers would offer a short version of their bibs, just with a little bit shorter inseam for those who prefer that. The seamless bib straps were comfortable on every ride and never bothered my shoulders or chafed the chest at all. And oh, the chamois is so Good. They call this a new proprietary technology developed with SciTech, which when I looked up SciTech online, it gave me a website where you can become a cycle technician, so a bike mechanic. And I thought, wait, they developed this bib with bike mechanics? But then I looked into it further and I found out that SciTech is actually Elastic Interface, a developer of padding for not only chamois, but things like bike gloves, stuff like that. The chamois is by far the most comfortable one I've ever gotten the chance to ride. And the chamois and this bib combined with my Gilbertude saddle, it's quite a dream. So let's talk about the concept jersey. When I first unbagged this jersey, that's right, I said unbagged because they bag all their items in biodegradable bags, which is awesome. But when I first unbagged 
this concept jersey. It felt pro, and I don't mean like for the pros, I mean like it just felt professional. It felt like a professional item, professional athletic apparel. It felt like a ton of research and development went into this item, which I'm sure has, but it just felt really good. Not only that, but when I first tried it on, it felt even better. They state that it has a skin suit like feel and I couldn't agree more. I mean, granted, I've never worn a skin suit for cycling, but this is probably the closest I'll get to it. When you put it on, it really hugs your body and supports your muscles. I don't know, it just feels great. The rear pockets are well balanced and hold your items nicely. And the addition of a zipped back pocket is super, super ideal because you can go on a long ride and make sure that your ID or wallet or house key is in there and is staying there until you choose to get it out. So loving the concept jersey so much, my wife noticed that I really enjoyed the fit and gifted me a surprise one. So we purchased another jersey um, that you guys have seen on the channel. One thing I will note that it's not a concept jersey, that's their traditional style of jersey. And the concept quality is just, it beats it by a long shot. I mean, the other jersey is still a great jersey, but the concept, the quality and builds, I don't know, and the fit, when you put them on, it just makes all the difference. So I can't speak for all of the Velocio jerseys, but at least the two I have, have one thing that I really, really enjoy about them and it is the sleeve length. They come down just above the elbow. So it's not your traditional bicycle jersey that's cutting into your bicep and tricep if you have traditional arms, like if you're not a pro cyclist. It comes down past your bicep, tricep, and I love, love that feature. So earlier in the video, I talked about two things that Velocio does really well. One was their sizing and fit for everyone, not just the pro cyclist. And the second one, I think, is their efforts towards sustainability and producing a cycling product that's not only quality, but sustainable. As I mentioned before, Velocio is a 1% for the planet company, which if you don't know what that means, it means 1% of their profits go towards environmental causes. By not only producing some of the best quality apparel for the cycling industry on the market and doing that in a sustainable way, they're really challenging the cycling apparel industry in the sense that, you know, no one has done it this way, at least in the cycling world. Their slogan says it all, a better way. I truly think that they're not trying to sell products that will end up in a landfill quickly. They're trying to make quality products in a sustainable way that will last for quite a while. Using recycled materials for their fabrics and biodegradable packaging are just a couple of examples of what they do to lower the footprint and therefore lower the footprint of the cycling apparel industry. Now all this takes time and effort, research, and a lot of trial and error. And a lot of people don't see that and what happens behind the scenes when they go into a bike shop and check out a Velocio piece. They see the price tag and then they immediately get afraid of it. So yes, the price tags are scary when you first look at them, but after you see the quality of the product and how they make it, I think they're justified. And I personally think that people can vote and should vote with their dollar when they can and if they can. And if you end up buying one of these pieces and it still hasn't convinced you, they have something called the Velocio Signature Guarantee. This is where you can buy one of their items brand new, you can try it on, you can ride in it, you can wash it, if you don't like it within 30 days of receiving it, you can send it back to them for a full refund. That's how confident they are in their products. Not only that, but when I was in communication with one of their representatives to do this review, I told them I would write in it for a few months because I wanted to take that 30 days and expand it, see if they really last. So I've been writing in my pieces for about six months now and with good care, cold wash, hang to dry when you wanna wash them. They last and feel just as good as they did when I first opened them. So is Velocio worth the money? Absolutely. And I know some of you might think, well, it's easy for me to say because I got these items to review at no cost. But I did go out and purchase an extra jersey 
and I know that if I need an extra cycling garment later down the line, I will go with Velocio because I know the quality I'm getting and I know the effort that they put in to make this company and the cycling apparel industry sustainable. Let me know in the comments below, have you guys tried Velocio gear? Are you curious about them? If you do purchase some of their items, they usually have a 15% off for a new customer discount, which I think is a great deal. If you do purchase some of their items and end up loving them, let the people know down in the comments how good they are. I can't stop bragging about their pieces. And if you purchase some of their items and don't love them and end up returning them, which I doubt you will, let us know too. What didn't you like about them? Let us know. Let's start a conversation. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And thank you, Velocio, for letting me review your items. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, remember to stay stoked on Spokes.